hip hop mogul Rick Ross used to be a big boy. He was carrying that weight like a drug dealer, but he always exuded the confidence to show it off regardless. And he eventually lost 75 pounds, dropped that weight, inspiring everybody around him and beyond. And either way you spin it, the boy still has swag, class, style, and elegance about him. And one thing we love about Rick Ross is that he liked to have fun. It's always interesting to see him because I know he's going to be on some BS, you know? It's always funny. Like, sir, why would you take a picture like this? Why? Why? Boy, get out of here. But beyond that, he is an inspiration. The man is a multimillionaire through hip hop and then he invested in businesses and building generational wealth. I love how he showcases his luxury lifestyle in an inspirational manner. It always has a story behind it and his motivational speeches are just powerful. The way he delivers it resonates. Well, Rick Ross recently hit the gym. The boy was acting a dang fool and it's circulating around social media. So y'all check this out. My boxing trainer, right? He been here about 40 minutes. I made him wait 40 minutes. Hopefully he'll have an attitude. And that way we can intensify the training. He don't know this a part of my, uh, my tactics. Get back, nigga. Get back, you got it. Get back. Step back, nigga, step back. When I go wild, cause I don't wanna train just to be training in the streets, ain't no all that tap shit, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I go buck wild, so if you don't know me, when I nut up on you, it's what I'ma say, which is gonna be horrendous. Then I'ma jump with the punch. Ah! So when I start training at this intensity level, I take my, kick my shoes off, so I don't kick my homie like that. Another nigga, I ain't gonna spare you, I'ma kick you. I'm gonna kick you and punch you in the head. So come on, nigga. 